Okay, welcome to Reminder Fox. So the first thing we do is we'll see a status bar with a Reminder Fox icon on there. You click that, and it brings up the Reminder Fox list window with all of your reminders on there. Uh, you double click it to edit it. You see, you got a description, some notes, you got the date, uh, a number of various options. Um, if you click the URL option, for instance, it'll actually bring up a web page for that particular URL. Uh, if you want to read more about some Reminder Fox uh, questions. So on the right side, we've got our calendar uh, navigation. Um, you're able to double click on any date to create a new event. Uh, here we'll add a birthday for myself. Um, if you put in angle brackets a year, that will actually show up on your um, reminder event um, showing that particular year. You can add categories. Here we'll add a birthday. And we'll click OK to create this new event. And you see now it says Tom's 31st birthday. As we navigate through the years on the calendar, you see um, it keeps up with whatever year that is for my birthday. So that's kind of a nice feature there. Uh, we can also bring up a context menu on the calendar to go to today, today for instance. Um, let's add another reminder, take a look at some of the other options. So we'll add an entry for Thanksgiving. So we'll click this calendar to select the date. You can also choose from the drop down, but this is a little quicker. So we'll select uh, November 26th, a Thursday. And we can change the repeat options. So here we'll say yearly by day. So this will be the fourth Thursday of November. We'll set a holiday category and click OK. You can also add some, some notes. Um, maybe we want to add something that we want to do for Thanksgiving. So we'll just type in the notes. Remember to call Grandma. Always a nice thing to do on any of the holidays. And there we've got that event. You see when we hover over it, it shows our category as well as our notes. Um, so you can get all that information just by hovering over any reminder. So let's create another reminder. Let's say pay credit card bill. Um, so here's one that we would want to repeat uh, every month on the same day, generally uh, when your credit card statements are due. So we'll say the third of the month. And here we'll say we want to see an alarm pop up um, three days before the event occurs, just to make sure we, we really remember. Um, we can also add new categories by selecting Manage Categories from the drop-down. And we'll create a new one called Bills um, for any of the bills that we want. So we'll just select it from the Categories drop-down. You can actually select multiple categories. We'll say this is a business this is my business credit card, um, as well as follow-up. I want to make sure that I follow up on this particular action item. We can also check uh, important checkbox uh, for important items, and that will actually highlight in red for, for um, events that are super important. Um, so we've got a number of reminders here. We'll say or a number of um, context menu items. We'll say show all reminders. Uh, and this is showing you that particular repeating reminder um, for every month. By default, we hide some of the repeat options just so it doesn't clutter up your reminder. But you can change that in the options. What we'll another reminder um, and select time. Say pick up Billy from school. So we want to do this at 3:15 uh, on certain days of the week. You can actually type in any uh, time there. We'll say 3:20. Um, let's say we want to we only want to pick them up on certain days uh, say mom picks them up the other days so we can go to choose custom for a repeat option so we'll say uh, weekly reminder so every other week say on a Friday and a Wednesday um, just happens those are the two days that we we have to pick them up from school and it's going to repeat until the end of uh, the school year which is at the start of June um, for the upcoming year. So you can set all of that in your custom repeat options. It's, it's pretty versatile. Okay. We'll say, we'll set an alarm to pop up just to make sure if we're using the computer. Uh, we'll remember, oh crap, I better get off and pick up Billy. So you see that showed up in our uh, calendar as well.
got Billy from school. Actually, let me change this um, to the start of the year just so we see all of the uh, all of the instances. So you see on Friday and Wednesday every other week, uh, we've got those alarms set to pick up Billy from school. Um, so that's that's how you can set up sort of um, some pretty advanced repeating repeating options like that.